Now, in this question, this is also a gate question. In this question, like you know, potential divider is given. Okay, so what about potential divider? We have to understand one thing. That is, for example, okay. So if I supply 100 volts here. Okay, same if I supply 100 volts here like you know he has given attenuation factor of 0.8 so attenuation factor of 0.8 means that from here to here output voltage is going to be 80 volts 80 volts okay means like you know for example let us consider this is having 100 ohms 100 turns and 100 ohms so if you supply 100 volts 100 ohms means that one ampere current will flow 100 turns are there okay at 80th turn if i keep the tab if i keep the tab output voltage is going to be 80 tons voltage drop will be there so one ampere into 80 ohms is going to be 80 volts okay but now if you reverse apply like you know for example if i apply here 100 volt if current is not drawn if current is not drawn okay means that this 100 volts will be applied and current will be flowing like this and the current is not coming out or not flowing here under that condition without current there will be no voltage drop by ohms law so in this area you don't get voltage drop at all so if i don't have current if i supply 100 volts 100 volts will be the output voltage that's it if you know this you can solve this problem okay what is saying first first like you know vwx1 100 volts so if you supply 100 volts on this side okay so if i supply 100 volts here this is stepping up 1 is to 1.25 so this is step up transformer so the output side you are going to get 125 volts here okay now this is having attenuation factor of 0.8 means that if you supply 125 volts across this into point A will be the VYZ1. So 125 into point A equal to 100 volt. Okay. So in the first case, it is 100 by 100. If input voltage here is 100, output voltage after potential divider is going to be 100. Now, if I reverse supply, like you know, in the second case, YZ2 100 he applied. So if I supply 100 volts here, 100 volts here did he say something about no load current no. so if he don't say something about anything in machine like you know we should not consider that so if i supply 100 volts here he did not specify anything about no load current so current flowing through this will be zero under that condition there will be no voltage drop here so here directly 100 volts will come means that if i supply 100 volts here okay here i'm going to get 100 volts here okay now if i supply 100 volts here this is going to be step down transformer because this is the input side this is the output side it is reversed now so it is going to be step down means that 100 divided by 1.25 100 divided by 1.25 is going to be 80 volts okay so in the first case if input is 100 output is going to be 100 in the second case if input is 100 output is going to be 80 volts so answer is going to be this 100 by 100 and 80 by 100 okay now let me consider the second uh, world gate question okay that is means if we don't specify anything we should not bother about it in machine okay so in this question he has given three winding transformer actually we did not discuss about three winding transformer not required okay now three winding transformer n1 n2 n3 and in the secondary side some uh, what is a load is connected and in the tertiary side some load is connected okay now what do we know from ideal transformer analysis secondary mmf n2 i2 should be compensated with primary compensating mmf that is n1 i2 dash okay now if you see what is the primary current primary current is going to be i0 plus i2 dash no load current plus load reflected current now in this particular question he did not give any information related to no load current so if i don't bother about no load current i1 is going to be i2 dash 
I1 is going to be I2 dash. Okay. So under that condition, secondary MMF N2 I2 equal to primary MMF N1 I1. In two winding case, in two winding case, not in three winding. Okay. But anyway, come back to here. For example, if load is connected here, means input voltage has given 400 volts. Okay. So if I supply 400 volts on this side, this is going to be N1 is going to be 4 is to 2 is to 1. Okay. So N4, uh, what is the trans ratio of 4? If I supply 400 volts here, it is going to 200 volts. And here this is going to 4 is to 1. So this is going to be 100 volts. 100 volts. Okay. Now, if I supply 200 volts across resistance, how much current will flow? 20 amperes current will flow. Okay. And now, if I think of this as, of course, minus JC. Okay. So, if I supply 100 volts here, how much current will flow? 40 amperes current will flow. Okay. So, that is going to be basically this XC equal to minus J 2.50 because for inductance plus j and capacitance minus j so means 100 volts is applied across 2.5 ohm uh, what is a reactance is going to give you 40 amperes plus j 40 amperes v by i v by i okay now let me reflect this current from this side to this side and let me reflect this current also from this side to this side net current you have to find in the sense secondary if i2 flow i2 dash has to flow here and in the third winding, if I3 flow, I3 dash has to flow here, such that in three winding transformer, I1 is going to be no load current plus secondary reflected current plus tertiary reflected current or three winding, a third winding reflected current, I0 they did not give. So I2 dash plus I3 dash. So how much is I2 dash? See here, this is LV and this is HV. LV to HV, my current has to be LV to HV voltage will be increased and current will be reduced. Okay, so current will be reduced by two times. So this is going to be 10 amperes unity power factor. Now, here again, this 40 amperes will have reflected current here. Okay, now in this reflected current, again, this is going to be 100 volts and this is going to be 400 volts. Means that this is going to be LV, this is going to be HV. LV to HV voltages will be increased and currents has to be reduced. So Currents has to be reduced by four times. So this is going to be plus J I3 dash. I3 dash is going to be here. If it is 40, it should be high voltage here. It should be divided by 4, 10. Okay. So answer is going to be 10 plus J10. Answer is going to be 10 plus J10 amperes. Okay. So conclusion here is very simple. Even though we did not discuss about three winding transformer, we can solve three winding transformer questions. Thank you.